This video is sponsored by OWC. Earlier this week at WWDC 2020, Apple released macOS 11 Big Sur, which is a huge update, not just in features and design, but it's the first macOS release to not begin with a 10 in 19 years. I've been using some version of macOS 10 dot whatever for two thirds of my life now, so it's kind of huge that we finally transitioned to macOS 11. With that said, in this video, we're gonna go over some of the new updates and features in macOS Big Sur. <laughs> Before we get started, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications whenever we share a video. The first major change is the updated design and overall interface refinement. We'll start with the menu bar, which is now translucent and sort of blends in with the wallpaper, and also adds some new useful features like Control Center, which gives users quick access to Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Do Not Disturb, AirDrop, Dark Mode, Media Playback, Brightness Sliders, etc. And it's customizable. The notification center has been updated with grouped notifications, and these notifications are a bit interactive as well. You can also add widgets in different sizes, similar to iOS 14. macOS Big Sur does away with the energy saver section of system preferences, replacing it with a new battery section that expands the battery reporting capabilities of the Mac. There's a new usage history feature, which provides details on the Mac's battery life over the course of the last 24 hours or the last 10 days, broken down into battery level and screen on usage so that you can see exactly how your battery is performing. In macOS Big Sur, apps have added new full height sidebars, similar to what was introduced in iPadOS 14, and the dock looks a bit different with its new floating design and translucent look. Apple has also redesigned its app icons and made them all uniform in size and shape. Speaking of apps, a few apps on the Mac have been updated significantly, starting with Safari. The start page has changed quite a bit with the ability to set custom background images and decide what appears on the start page by clicking the icon in the bottom right corner and then checking or unchecking the boxes that you want on your start page. You can now search out Safari extensions in the Mac App Store as extensions have their own dedicated category and there are new privacy settings for Safari extensions themselves. Speaking of privacy, there is a new privacy button on the Safari toolbar, which will give you information about what each website is tracking and collecting during your visits to those pages. In the navigation bar, you will also notice a translation button that can basically translate web pages between seven different languages with just one simple click. The Messages app on the Mac received a huge update to be more in line with the new iOS and iPadOS versions, adding features like pinned conversations, inline replies, group photos, and mentions. There's also an updated search engine for messages, which makes it easier than ever to search for links, photos, and the text that you're looking for. Like Messages, Maps also received an update to match iOS and iPadOS with the new Cycling Directions feature added as well as the new guides that are created to help users find new places to eat, shop, and explore cities from trusted brands and partners, and those lists will automatically update as time goes on with fresh new places to visit. New for the Mac is the ability to use Look Around, a feature that allows you to virtually explore a city or landmark in 3D. And Maps for Mac has also gained support for indoor maps to help navigate around major airports and shopping centers before you leave your home. Apple also added more privacy features to the Mac and information specifically around the App Store and what app you're going to download, which lets you see a summary of the privacy practices for each app before you actually download it to your Mac. Apple compared this to looking at a nutrition label before purchasing food, and I think that comparison makes a lot of sense. All of the information that developers are required to report that's being collected and tracked or shared with potential third parties, all of that information is there for your approval before you actually download the app. One last little side note, for those who missed this sound when booting up your Mac, fear not, macOS Big Sur brings back the startup chime. Now there are tons of little features and hidden tips and tricks that we will explore in a future video for macOS Big Sur, so be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that video in the future. But before we end today's video, I do want to give you more information about today's sponsor, OWC. OWC offers a wide range of products for your Mac, like internal hard drives and SSDs, memory, Thunderbolt 3 docks, and much more. 
OWC also started doubling storage capacities of some of its more popular products such as the Aura P12 SSDs, the award-winning Envoy Pro EX Thunderbolt 3 and Envoy Pro EX USB-C external drives, which can now rack up to 4 terabytes of storage space, and the new Excelsior 4M2 PCIe SSD, which can deliver crazy speeds of 6,000 megabits per second, and now comes in a giant 16 terabyte capacity. Even the Thunderblade drive has also been updated to 16 terabytes, which is just crazy to think about. So for more information about these drives or any other product that OWC has to offer, go ahead and click the link in the description down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.